Good afternoon, my friends. I want to talk to you a little bit today about a condition called preeclampsia, uh, which lead, which can lead to eclampsia. Now, this condition is only uh, found in pregnant women, and I'm going to give you in a nutshell what this is about. Preeclampsia is most common, is a condition that is most common in women who are under the age of 20 years old and are pregnant or over the age of 40 years old and are pregnant. And it is commonly um, uh, experienced or diagnosed um, in women that are overweight or obese um, I'm not talking about a little bit overweight now uh, pretty overweight uh, I read you know your BMI being more than 30% uh, above normal and uh, so women that are overweight uh, and are pregnant women who don't eat healthy and are pregnant uh, women who don't drink much water during their pregnancy, and women who had a pre-existing uh, diagnosis of um, high blood pressure. Now, these women are high-risk women, and so they could develop what's called preeclampsia. This is a condition where the blood pressure is high, uh, there's protein in the urine, which indicates kidney damage. Oftentimes, they're not urinating much. They might get lightheaded and uh, just don't feel good um, in their body. And always the blood pressure is high. These women are uh, monitored closely by their obstetric and gynecologist. And... Um, Oftentimes, the physicians will uh, put them on low-sodium diet and um, encourage them to drink a minimum of six to eight glasses of water. They will be seeing them frequently in the hospital to monitor, in the, sorry, in their doctor's office, to monitor their blood pressure, the protein in their urine to monitor their weight. Usually the doctor will tell them, you know, I don't want you to gain more than 25 pounds uh, for the entire pregnancy. Uh, they watch their weight, they watch their blood pressure, they watch the protein in their diet, and they also monitor them closely so that um, for diabetes. Um, oftentimes these women that are preeclamptic um, or have preeclampsia, are oftentimes diabetic also because you know blood high blood pressure and diabetes and overweight and poor eating habit stress and insufficient sleep they all go together to lead to an unhealthy person hence an unhealthy pregnant mother and hence an, an unhealthy baby now, I'm doing this recording because I'm, I'm feeling very saddened today because someone I know very well um, has a, a daughter who was in her mid-30s, recently got married, well, got married less than a year ago and apparently got pregnant right away. She's in her mid-30s, that makes sense. And she had a history of high blood pressure. And uh, the story I hear says that she went into preeclampsia, so she was having some kidney issues. Um, bl uh, blood pressure was higher than normal. And her physician put her on, um, well, prescribed blood pressure pills, and she refused to take it. Uh, what I heard is for um, religious reasons and also thinking that the blood pressure uh, medicine will bring harm to the baby. Now... I am not um, for uh, prescription drugs or any drug at all, but one has to allow common sense to rule. Common sense to rule. I say, if you're in a life-threatening threatening situation, 
if you are seriously ill that that's not the time to be talking about um, side effects from drug and not taking um, you know drugs or medication as they say to help yourself one has to allow uh, or be wise you know so um, that young lady definitely uh, if I were in her position uh, um, I definitely would never have said I'm not taking blood pressure pills um, because it might harm my baby or because of side effects or because of religion because one has to be one has to exercise wisdom and use common sense and good judgment like in a case like this that's what should have happened um, if your blood pressure exorbitant if it's very high yes cayenne pepper is very good for blood pressure and I would definitely pop some cayenne pepper under my tongue or put some uh, a lot of cayenne pepper powder in some hot water and sip on it but if it's extremely high and, and it's not being regulated and a physician said to me listen it's a matter of life and death it, this is very serious it could it could uh, kill you things like that which I gather her doctor uh, told her and her husband I would never refuse that's emergency care um, so that's my take on that not that I'm bashing uh, you know the dead or anything but we all can learn from other people's experience and yes in an emergency situation one should do what is best for oneself uh, and and in this case her baby and the rest of her family because now she's she died her baby died and she has left a, a husband and the rest of the family to mourn her death and and she's not around and her baby also ultimately died so wisdom 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 and common sense should rule in every situation. In this video, I am showing you cayenne pepper because cayenne pepper is uh, a potent antihypertensive, um, I call it medicine, God medicine, natural medicine. Um, it is said, and I've read that many, many, many people uh, have, um, who are having a heart attack have put cayenne you know like the family or you know someone who's with them put a ton of cayenne pepper a teaspoon half a teaspoon in their mouth under their tongue because they believe that they're having a heart attack and and it opens up the blood vessels so that circulation can go to the heart and the brain and the rest of the body and that it has saved their lives it is similar to what's given in the hospital Aspirin, large dose of aspirin. If you ever go to the hospital or call 911 and think you're having a heart attack, they will give you aspirin and other blood thinner. Well, cayenne is a potent blood thinner, potent antiplatelet, and it opens up the blood blood vessels so that, and it also dilate it dilates the blood vessels. That's what it does, so that the blood can flow through freely and will stop a heart attack in his track. So perhaps if this young lady knew about cayenne pepper, maybe she could have uh, saved her life if she didn't feel uh, that she could take the blood pressure uh, pills. Uh, as a nurse, I have worked with folks that are Jehovah's Witnesses and they would rather die than take blood. So I understand that this young lady probably chose death over pills if it's for religious reasons but had she known about cayenne pepper for example she could have mixed some cayenne a teaspoon or so in some hot water and sip on that every day and I am pretty sure that that the cayenne pepper would have definitely helped to regulate and normalize her blood pressure among so many other things that are natural so it's important that we do our research and um, educate ourselves so we can know what our alternative treatments are. Um, certainly garlic is one of them that lowers blood pressure. Raw garlic, chopped, minced very finely, and um, you know, swallowed also lowers, 
that's raw garlic now also lowers and regulates the blood pressure um so one like i said one has to be wise do our research and um do what's best for ourselves at that moment um just be wise really uh how to prevent preeclampsia and eclampsia you got to take care of yourself moderate exercise walking a half an hour every day or half an hour four days a week eating healthy mainly a plant-based diet getting in adequate rest and relaxation and decreasing our stress level and drinking six to eight ounces six to eight gla six to eight glasses of water those are eight ounce glasses now of water and just learning to rest and uh, not gain too much weight you know, most doctors will tell you when you're pregnant, you do, should not gain more than 25 to 30 pounds the entire pregnancy. And um, uh, you're going to have some cravings, but the thing to do is to temper those cravings with uh, healthy, low-calorie foods like cucumber and celery and carrot sticks. You know, stay away from the junk food and the... Uh, uh, juices with sugar and processed foods and eat mainly uh, plant-based even the uh, fruits you got to be careful with that banana has a lot of calories and those high calorie foods you should stay away from apples are low cal calorie fruits the berries are low calorie fruits um, um, cherries those are low calorie fruits that will help you to maintain a good healthy weight during your pregnancy you gotta take care of yourself more so while you're pregnant than ever to help to keep yourself healthy and to prevent preeclampsia and clampsia, eclampsia because most women don't live if they get into eclampsia it's a severe emergency situation where women go, you know, they have seizures and they, their platelets drop, they bleed, they could bleed to death and uh, go into heart failure and kidney failure and, and most women don't make it. So you got to take care of yourself. It's very important to take excellent care of yourself. Eat healthy, primarily a plant-based diet. Don't gain too much weight, lots of water, moderate exercise lots of sleep rest and relaxation and really that's the key to being healthy overall not just pregnancy health but being healthy overall all right god bless you take care of yourself and remember your health is your wealth and walking is man's best medicine and your food is your medicine and your medicine is your food is your food those are not from me they are sayings or quotes from uh, Hippocrates who is the father who is called the father of medicine take care and God bless you and be well